If somebody's child reaches the age where they can be married but they don't but they are negligent and don't don't recognize their responsibility to marry their children, if the children out of out of the negligence of the parents and end up committing wrong, then the burden will be upon the parents. That why that many cases children asking parents in the older days parents you know children used to be embarrassed to ask their parents dad I'm ready <laughs> can you can you arrange for someone and parents themselves would arrange mashallah you know at a suitable time but many a times children are asking but parents are uh, they too busy in their own way and uh, they are too busy in other things and then when something happens and then mashallah many a times girls boys working somewhere and where they are working sometimes uh, you know when people mix together then chemistry takes place uh, and then people develop a liking for one another many a times the other boy isn't a Muslim and then Mawlana Sahib give us a strong taweez please you know the girl won't listen what's the taweez gonna do now? <laughs> Uh, when already things are happening, mashallah, in some way or another. So when people mix, there will be some relationships taking place. So before that stage, have mercy upon your children and try and arrange. Many people say, you know, someone, but he's not working. And I say to people, when you came here, what did you have? You had nothing, no job, no house, you came here, now mashallah you've settled, you've done business, you didn't have nationality, no stay, nothing. You came empty handed, single, now mashallah. Five pounds. Hajisa brought five pounds. <laughs> many, 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 many people didn't bring anything and they came here mashallah. Allah give barakah. So now your children are born and at least they've got nationality, they've got some base when they grow, Allah will give them inshallah. Uh, so when there is a need, marry them. Don't wait for someone professional to come out and mashallah and for your daughter as well to become whatever. And especially in the case of girls. Really, subhanAllah, it's amazing how people, how can they be so negligent uh, when girls are 21, 22, 23 and people are, you know, they want them to become professionals. Then when they become professionals, now she's a doctor, mashallah, she's qualified, and now the first rishta which comes along, obviously she's not going to accept. Now she's a solicitor, doctor, engineer, whatever, mashallah, and she's highly qualified, she wants somebody similar. And where are you going to find someone similar for her now? There are many, many cases and such parents will have to give answer in the court of Allah on the day of Qiyamat. What are they going to say to Allah on the day of Qiyamat? This is why the Prophet wasallam, especially with regards to girls, has stated, don't delay in three things. Don't delay in Salat when the time sets in. Don't delay in Janazah when it's ready to be buried. And thirdly, don't delay in the marriage of an unmarried girl when a suitable partner is found. Uh, we are not saying the first man who comes knocking on your door, yeah, come on, come in brother. <laughs> uh, don't know, do your homework, do your investigations, when you satisfied someone is pious, ma, he can look after your daughter as well, and then as soon as somebody of this caliber comes along, then mashallah, let them live their lives, Allah will give barakah.